Listen up, bronze. Listen up! All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today we have yet another problem from Brilliant.org. Today's daily challenge is about graph theory in action. Now, if you haven't heard about graph theory, don't worry, this problem is just for beginners. So let's take a look at what do I mean by a graph. Do I mean y equals x, y equals x squared, or even y equals x cubed? No, this is a completely different kind of graph. This is a graph composed of nodes. Each node is represented by a vertex. In fact, as you can see, I'm just gluing it on the board right here. Now what I'm going to do is just enlarge this graph for you so we can more clearly understand the connections between each node of the graph. So let's go ahead and enlarge this graph so we can see all those connections. All right, folks. So uh, I'm blabbering and blabbering and let's go ahead and draw that enlarged graph. Okay, so that enlarged graph is going to be composed of regions. Each region you can see is represented by a cyan dot. And I've also labeled them A, B, C, D, E, F for your convenience. Now, here, here's where uh, things get a bit uh, tricky. What we have to find is how many paths, or rather how many paths exist between each and every region, such that the paths cross over an edge and not a vertex. All right, and of course you can't lift off your pen or in this case chalk because those are the rules of a, of a graph. All right, so as you can see, I've just found out that the degree of F, which is the outermost point, is 7. Now you can see I'm trying to find the degree of an innermost point and that point of course being the degree of D it seems and the degree of D turns out to be 5. As you can see, both of those degrees are odd, which is going to come into effect later on. Now as you can see, I'm trying to find the degrees of all the other vertices. Now you can see the degree of A is 4 and likewise for the other 4 vertices vertices by symmetry a b c and e all have a degree of four now check it out check it out here's how we know a graph exists there exists a graph g that connects all the vertices because we have an even number of odd vertices all right folks thanks for watching sponsored by brilliant.org ambition plus mko plus scaffolding we believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.